Good morning, Shug. How are you? I hope you're having a great day already. Because what's better than waking up and having a great day? Nothing. Hey, so let me tell you what happened to me yesterday. I was up there feeding a chicken pen. And I had moved some chickens around. And I had put them in a coop that I haven't really used for maybe a month. Or a couple weeks. I don't know. It was just an empty coop I had. And so I had moved them around, rearranged them, blah, blah, blah. They've been in there a couple days now, so and I've been in there feeding them, whatever. But I was going back up there yesterday, and um, I was going to open the door to get in there, and I probably made a lot of racket or tripped a little, probably something. Probably had a hard time getting the door open. I don't know. I made, I made a little bit more racket than normal. And you're wondering, well, why does that matter? Well, because there's a wasp nest that was built in the top of it, and the thing come down and bit me twice on my shoulder and on my back. Oh, damn. Yeah, there's a wasp. there's a bite there. So, anyway, yeah, that hurt. And so, if I was like, is this the same wasp attacking me, or is like, is there more? I well, I really didn't know what got me, but I know something bit me, and I knew it hurt like bad. And so I just did, I just left the door open on the coup and I just took off running. And now if you don't know nothing about my my um, my yard, which you probably don't, you ain't never been there. Anyway, my chickens are up a very, very, very steep hill and you have to walk up it carefully and you gotta walk down it carefully or you'll fall. Well, I just took off running downhill. I did not fall, did not. And I jumped the fence and um, was taking my shirt off and blah, 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 cause I just felt like that wasp kept biting me, but it was just kept stinging, I only got bit twice. And um, that wasn't fun, it wasn't. So finally I made my way back up there because um, I wanted to see if there was a wasp nest up there or if I just, he just happened to be crossing paths with me. And so anyway, there was a nest up there and I just kind of left him alone for time being because there was only one on there and I think there's more <clears throat> but um yeah because I was getting ready I had to spray the chickens for mice because you know yeah I didn't want them to have no bugs on them but um I'm gonna have to be careful when I spray, spray that wasp in there because I'm gonna have to move the chickens out because I don't know if that wasp spray is I'm sure it's toxic to the chickens and I don't want them to get um sick or nothing but anyway I still didn't really finish packing you know I'm leaving today I'm not leaving to go on a cruise today, but when I get off of work today, we're going down there because we're getting on the cruise tomorrow, and I still ain't packed. I, I set stuff to the side, but Eric was, Eric kind of helped me pack the other day. He packed his stuff last week. I don't know why, why he was being so proactive about packing. I don't know. That was kind of weird. But anyway, he had picked me out some outfits, and I was like, why are you picking, why are you picking me out stuff? That's what I was thinking at first. But then now I'm very grateful, but then I don't know what he picked out, which he has them set to the side. But I don't know, I, I got clothes here, there, and everywhere, so I really do. And so I don't know which ones he picked out for me to wear, so I told him he could just look at what I want picked out to wear, and then he could show me what he picked me out to wear, and then we'll just put it all together. But I'm trying not to bring a whole bunch of clothes because it's only a four day cruise, and I always overpack, and I'm still gonna overpack. I'm still gonna do it, I just know it. But anyway, so I'm headed to the workhouse this morning to get it over with. You know, this is gonna be the longest day because I know when I get off, I'm leaving. So I just already know it's gonna be a long day. And Eric was like, last night he said, um, cause I left a little bit early yesterday cause it was slow and blah, blah, blah. And he was like, make sure you leave early tomorrow because so we can go ahead and get on the road. I said, so you know, anytime that we have plans to go somewhere, or anytime that I plan on leaving early, something happens. Every single time something happens and I can't. I said, watch the inspector come and I had to stay like two hours over. That's what kind of luck I have. But either way, I don't care. I'm still going on a cruise. I don't care if the president comes down and visit. I'm leaving at some point today and going on a cruise. Now anyway, y'all go have a great morning. Bye-bye now.